E Welcome to the Foot Daily Update, guys. My name is John Sims. I hope you guys saw our last episode where we told you guys to stay out of the market because things are coming down. And guys, this is where we talk about anything and everything in the market. And so you guys have a question, make sure you guys comment below because we do a full uh, review, uh, reply to comments every single day. We do a reply to comments for you guys to so answer any questions. So that's why you guys like, follow, subscribe. But let's go ahead and get on in today's, today's content. We had a couple new uh, SBCs, Emmerich Laporte and then Curtis Jones. I actually don't think the, I don't think either of these are terrible, but guys, look at this. 87 required. That did bull some of the 87s, which I thought it was weird that they actually just dropped one of those. But what this tells me here, guys, what this tells me here is that they're not afraid to create the average sale price by just dropping like an 88 with an inform to dwindle some of that market. So that is actually very interesting because they don't usually do it like this. They usually set like 83, 84, 85 to get 200 instead of one one and done they don't usually do it like that so that's kind of interesting to me so um but guys with that let's go ahead and get into today's market update as we move into today's market update guys we've got christian pulisic we're at 1800 82 market is up it is up it is up it is up look at that it's crazy 2300 2700 so some of this stuff is coming down here a little bit uh so lamar though has bounced all the way up to 1400 um as we said guys What's funny is my content, I told you guys to buy here. I told you guys to buy here, and then look, boom, hits, right? So, what's a guaranteed trade every single day? Ooh, let's hold up, let's hold up. What's a guaranteed, guaranteed trade is when 83s hit below 900, that's always a guarantee because you're always going to get a boom on return, okay? You're always gonna get a return. So, uh, but here's the thing, what do, what do we invest in right now? Well, it looks like 84s are coming down right after they just peaked at like 4K. Um, guys, we have rewards from the we from uh, division rivals uh, just happened. So what do we see? We're seeing a lot of this drop, drop, drop. Look at that, underneath 8,000 coins. Insane, insane to have it come down almost 2,000 coins, which is over 20% off of just rivals rewards, which is interesting. Same thing over here, almost uh, about 15% drop there. Now this one's massive. I was up to like 27K just a day ago. And so it's come down quite a bit because now there's more and more supply has entered the market. Now we're at 29K here. So back, big, big, big drops in the higher market guys not much demand there so what does that tell us guys that tells us that we're coming into coming into a buy period on the gold rare market as you guys know we have a new promo coming out tomorrow and it sounds like it's going to be actually halfway decent so what does that mean that means we're going to get a lot of supply so a lot of this stuff should come down and that's why we're going to keep you guys up to inform market update now let's get to it guys So we go to the great links of trying to do this every single day. So I first off, guys, I apologize. I was at a meeting and I couldn't get out and I uh, I forgot to send out the, the post in the morning. But guys, this is why you guys, uh, here's the thing. Everything's dropping here. Everything's dropping. So uh, it's still pretty high, very, very high. I don't think it's investable in my take right now, given supply is going to come this weekend, weekly rewards and a new promo. So uh, tomorrow I'm expecting a lot of this to come down quite a bit. If you guys watched my yesterday's video, you guys would know I talked about this. I talked about this. I talked about this. Typically, guys, what are the safest investments, the newest investments on the week? But what I look for are substitutions in the market and what do we have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we have nine eighty fours in the market so when there's substitutions then there's players getting packed what are the chances that you're going to pack an 84 rather than an 80 81 or an 85 well you may have a higher chance to pack these just by algorithmic base but given the substitution of anything above it you're pretty much going to pack an 84 so what does that mean does that mean that the 83 market might stay higher than the 84? Maybe. Honestly, might. It might. And so these may stay higher than 84s. And oh, look, it just happens to be that way. 
why is that it has to do with supply and demand and so what are we going to see some of the best deals on the weekend it's going to be the 84 market so if these guys come down to about 15 12 13k 12k if they come down to 12k you're guaranteed if they come up down to 13k you're pretty close if you're at 14k i think it's somewhat safe but anything above 14k is still a little bit 50 50 and right now we're risking big time up here so i would say zero i would i would not trade in yet guys um a lot of this market should start to come down good but guys you can't you can't risk if you don't risk if you can't if you don't risk it you can't get the biscuit right or it's risk it to get the biscuit yeah risk it to get the biscuit and so that's kind of the idea here the consensus 87s uh every, everything now the 87s are actually still up 88s are everything is up on this side everything is up on this side and so uh but what do we have we have an 86 we have an 87 we have an 88 is that is that pure coincidence i don't think so and so i think uh i think that this weekend uh a lot of the info market is going to come down in almost all categories and all aspects so um i'm really looking to try to get some deals this week and let's get to our 24 all right all right okay so within the next 24 hours, what should you do? What should you do? Well, when, we, when we're expecting supply to come with a new promo and we're just coming off a lot of demand, a lot of these SBCs are gonna be ending, what does that tell us? That tells us our, our demand curve is gonna shift. And then on top of that, our supply curve is gonna shift. So that means our supply curve is gonna shift to the right, which will end up increasing supply and quantity, lowering prices. And our demand curve is gonna shift to the left without with less supply or with less demand. And so what does that mean? With a shift to the left, that means, and a shift to the right, that means prices are going to drastically come down over the weekend. And so does that mean to invest now no no hold 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 out right now hold out right now i'd sell i would sell most of your investments if you're invested but here's the key we are going to be looking to buy because we just came off a massive sell period we're going to be looking to buy and try to flip for the next couple weeks until team of the season where we're even going to get better and better deals so guys, if I have any investment options, any any idea of what you guys should invest in, I believe that the 84 market is going to be your best chance to uh, survive for the next few weeks. Now, I also don't believe, I also believe that going in, if you have more than two, three million coins, that could be very annoying um, to invest only into 15,000, 12,000 coin players. So from 1.1 to, to, to 1.5 million. So in that case, if you're my higher, higher traders, I would, ex I would say actually screen ER 87, uh, we've got 86, 87, 88 um for you guys i think that delort scrinier and somner will all be also solid and i'm actually interested to see some of these uh promo cards uh we might have to try to dive into some of these promo cards just because of everything that's going on but guys my name's john this has been your foot daily update uh we hope that you guys earn some major coins this weekend uh as you guys know there's not a stamp right now there's no stamp there's no stamp everything's high so uh make sure you guys click on the next video and check out some of my tutorials for if you guys want to learn how to trade in uh in the high markets so uh we'll see you guys soon my name is john and as always happy trading.